Moosey? Hiya, Moose. Yeah. Mama. Dropped Oliver off at daycare and headed back home. Got the whole day. No calls, but I uh, just need to focus on application review, doing my own content, and getting ahead of emails the best I can so that we're ready to go for next week when we need to follow up on payments and get people into our programs. And one thing that was on my mind this morning was, am I trying to do too many things? What really got me thinking about this was, if I was an outsider observing kind of my behavior over the last few weeks between doing, trying to do my own personal brand stuff, my own personal writing, on top of Reforge, on top of the Pickleball SEO site, on top of trying to learn more about real estate, as well as starting to play a little bit of poker again. Is it just too much? Oh, also in, you know, working out three days a week, trying to go to uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu at least twice a week. Is it all too much? And am I trying to do too much? And, uh, you know, if I was a casual, unbiased third observer, uh, then I would probably say, yeah, probably trying on too much. Whenever I think that though, I always go back to what Gary says and he talks about how, you know, doing too many things and just focusing on one thing is really good advice for average players. Like average players should just focus on the one thing and get good at that. But it's okay to be a little more scattered. It's okay to do more things. If uh, a couple things, if you know that you can execute on the important things, um, if you recognize that the game is about the long run and it's about a 10 to 20 year time frame, not a one to five year time frame, then it all kind of averages out. So it's okay to try a bunch of different things. Um, I think the answer is probably somewhere in the middle where I. It's okay to do all these different things, but I need to figure out, I need to pick the things that will naturally leverage into themselves. So anything that I learn at Reforge, for example, will be applicable to the Pickleball site and like vice versa. Anything I learn about SEO from the Pickleball site will leverage back into, uh, into Reforge. So I think that's the way I got to think about it in certain like synergies. <coughs> Excuse me. And if that synergy is not there, then maybe it's something that needs to take a back seat for the moment. Uh, I'm not really sure, just in general, aware of the fact that I'm a bit scattered uh, and I've been a bit scattered for the last few weeks and maybe that's something I need to adjust. Um, but with that said, I feel like I am making progress on uh, a good number of things and I like being busy too. So that's uh, another aspect of it. Um, what else? Uh, something else related to this. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure. Um, as long as I've, oh, this is what it was. And building systems so that it is all sustainable and I don't feel like I'm constantly running around like a chicken with its head cut off. So, just some early morning thoughts on this Thursday. It's 1.45, Deeper's outside barking at somebody, probably a little child who is trying to play, but uh, was in the middle of application review and then had, uh, had to send out 368 invitations for Reforge. Uh, ran into a few bugs where there's just some inconsistencies in the data, but managed to get those out. And now just kind of like trying to deglaze from just staring at the screen for the last few hours and figure out what I'm going to do next. Um, I think either way I have to eat lunch, so I'll probably do that around 2.15. And then after lunch, I can go right away to go get a haircut at 3 o'clock. Um, I have to stop by the grocery store and then I have a couple more hours before uh, mom goes and picks up Oliver, brings him home, and we start to get ready for dinner. So uh, just got to kind of take a break for a minute and then figure out the plan of attack and then just go back to work. I'm in the middle of reading this Backlinko site, um, one of their blog posts on how to improve your SEO for 2019, thinking about how to apply it to the Pickleball site. And as I was reading it, it kind of dawned on me that there are different phases 
there are different tactics for SEO for different phases. And uh, for the pickleball site, there's a lot of like SEO stuff that I should be doing at this beginning phase. But for other SEO work, I it's not applicable because I'm just not there yet. For example, worried about dwell time on a page is not something that I need to worry about for the pickleball site right away. I just need to get traffic to that page. Um, so just not as high priority. However, on a lot of the other content that I have from my, my own personal blog, uh, that kind of stuff I should be looking at improving the SEO on uh, by using some of these other tactics. And so just realizing and starting to put together the fact that there's a, a, a repeatable playbook that I should be assembling and putting together for these different sites and being a little bit more structured in how I approach the SEO strategy part of um, content creation for my site as well as the pickleball site and any other sites that I decide to create I'm moving forward. So then I think the next step is to just go through that list and compile it with everything else that I'm doing and just put together a cohesive step-by-step -step framework for um, what I should be doing at different stages and working off that playbook so that uh, I'm just following an actionable plan on both the Christopher Ming blog site and the, uh, the Pickleball site. And then being able to rinse and repeat that for any other sites that I choose to work on or develop.